Hi, I'm David Carnaway, and I'm here with the Bose Quiet Comfort 20, the company's first in ear headphone with active noise cancellation, which retails for $299.95. Why would you want to spend that kind of dough on a headphone like this? Well, for starters, they fit securely in your ear and are very comfortable to wear. They weigh a mere 1.5 ounces and come with a zippered cloth carrying case that's a fraction of the size of the case that comes with the over-the-ear QC15s. Their design is similar to Bose's MIE 2i headphones, which don't jam into your ear like many in-ear models, but rather rest more loosely in your ears, which is why they're so comfortable to wear. The headphones themselves follow the company's triport design, carving out some extra space to maximize Bose's proprietary acoustic voodoo and adding two microphones to monitor external noise. As with all such active noise canceling phones, that external din is countered by a mirror sound wave allowing you to enjoy your music in relative peace. The processing chip used in the QC20 is a new model that's exclusive to Bose. The QuietComfort 20s come with three sizes of flexible Stay Here Plus ear tips, each of which has wings to brace itself against the cup of the outer ear. I went with the largest ear tip, which offered me a little bit tighter seal, which helps with the noise cancellation. The lithium-ion battery pack is embedded in a control pod on the cord, it's rechargeable via standard micro USB cable and Bose pledges 16 hour battery life. At the joint of the wide cable leading up to the left and right earbuds is a smaller second remote for controlling volume. That one also has a microphone for making cell phone calls and a switch for toggling what Bose calls aware mode. Once engaged, it significantly ramps down the noise cancellation so you can hear the outside world to chat with a flight attendant, for instance. The noise cancellation is quite impressive. You don't think that a more loose fitting earbud like this, which lets in as much sound as it does, would work well as an active noise cancelling headphone, but it does. The Bose sound signature tends to be safe. By that I mean it's designed to take everything you throw at it, all types of music, well recorded and not so well recorded, and make it sound decent. In other words, you're going to find plenty of other $300 headphones that sound better than the QC20, but I still found myself gravitating toward using it as an everyday headphone because it was as comfortable as it was and managed to muffle a lot of that New York street noise. I also tested it on a plane ride to Seattle, and while I thought the overall noise reduction on the QC15 was slightly better, the QC20 was more comfortable, and a small size is good for sleeping because you can rest your head against a pillow or headrest without having your headphones get it in the way. Okay, now for the downsides, and they all involve the battery pack and control pod on the cord. First off, it's a little awkward to have the battery pack dangling from your phone. It's also worth noting that the battery isn't replaceable, so once it peters out, and someday it will, you're basically left with an MIE 2i headphone with a dongle attached to it. And lastly, if you forget to turn off the noise cancellation, which I did a few times, you'll end up with a dead battery overnight. Anyway, despite their drawbacks, I like these headphones a lot. Their sound may not measure up to competing $300 in-ear headphones. They sound good are very comfortable to wear, and offer excellent noise cancellation. If I was a frequent traveler, I'd definitely be tempted to pick up a pair while wishing they cost less as I pulled out my credit card. I'm David Carnoy. Thanks for watching.